Hi, welcome back to Can't Open for Kids. I'm Dan Shugath here, and I'm standing here with... Sonia Richards. Sonia Richards, our Lucky Smoke the Shoe contestant today. So you tried out for our show today, Sonia. Have you tried out many times in the past? Um, this is my second year. Okay, and uh, where did you come here today from? The uh, Super Bowl, Amesbury. So it's not, okay, Amesbury, so it's not too far of a ride for you. Did you uh, have a good time today in the tryout? Yeah. How close did you come to making the show, do you remember? I was about 10 pins away. All right, so, so you definitely have a good shot. Hopefully we'll see you at the next one. You are the lucky winner of Smoke the Shoe. You know how this goes? Except that today, as we all know, is no longer a surprise. I've got my ace in the hole, my ringer, world champion, Dave Godwin. How's it feel to be here, Dave? Feels pretty good. It's a great time. A lot of good bowls, kids coming up. It's a great thing. You guys do a great thing here. Still remember your time bowling with us on the show? Oh, yeah, like it was yesterday. Yeah, it was a, lot. It was a blast. I had so much fun. All the kids keep getting taller and I keep getting shorter, right? We've been short for a long time, so let's, let's relax up here. All right, so Dave's going to bowl in my place. He's going to go first. Uh, because you're 14 years old, Dave's going to get two balls. All you have to do is tie him. You throw a strike, you get 20. You tie him or beat him in three balls, you get 10. We'll give you five just for playing. We're going to have you take a seat. Dave's going to throw his first of two balls. <laughs> Maddie has some words of advice for you. Don't mess up. No pressure, Dave. No pressure. Can I get a couple warm-up <laughs> You had a warm-up game earlier. <laughs> Dave takes his approach. You? A little wide oh, left. Oh no, Dave! Give How you feeling, Sonia? This is just because it's my money doesn't mean you gotta give it away. <laughs> Sonia feeling good after seeing that? Yeah. She's looking confident now. Any oh, a six! Alright. Alright, yeah, you two. You can go warm up for next string, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see him again in an hour as he bowls with the last one for us. So Sonya's just going to get six, but she's looking to throw the strike. Strike gives her 20 in gift cards from Dunkin' Donuts. But they didn't they didn't donate them, so we shouldn't really plug them. <laughs> Whoa! No doubter! Sonya buries That's him! That's all it takes! Puts him away! She can throw the she's balls if she wants, but she's won already. Might as well see her show off Goes her to skills the here a little bit. <laughs> Whoa, what a shot! She did say she only needed two balls, and she didn't even need that. Congratulations! We're going to pay her off and then return to the second half of our match. Thanks for being with us. Welcome back, Candle Big for Kids. String number two underway. Shannon Scribner getting us started on lane three. Shannon Scribner qualified with a 314, first place. 314. She hit pie. She hit pie. My oh. favorite number and my favorite food. <laughs> Tough leaves for Robbie, looks like Robbie, both of our bowls. Did you know that if you put type the word pie on a calculator and you hold it up to the mirror? No, I'm sorry, if you type 314 on a calculator and you hold it up to the mirror, it spells pie. No kidding. That's Could've, a fun fact for everybody out there. Wow. Well, folks, check it out at home. Madison Kelly checking out a nice little spare there. That's two in a row for her. Starting to build up a sizable lead for her and uh, beautiful Mr. Souza. Can't fault Scribner there. Gets left with a very difficult 4 6 leave. Comes away with a 10. You can't ask for much more than that. All humor aside, Madison Kelly's having a nice string for herself. 56 half. Sitting at 66 and a ball after six. Looking to put three marks in a row. A little turkey. And of course, Madison debuted on the show. It had to be five or six years ago. She's been on a little hiatus lately. She's a huge basketball and soccer player. You can tell she's an athlete as she drops a solid seven on that fill. Yeah, you can tell she's an athlete. All right, we played a sport at your house, Robbie, a week and a half ago. She was going out for a touchdown pass and touch football. I was trying to cover her. She muscled me off, pushed me into a tree and caught a touchdown. Literally better than half of the Candleton Smith <laughs> kids staff in the sports. Madison looking for three marks in a row. Look at that. Can't will it over. That same strength she used to box me out, almost knocked that pin over. Couldn't have given it a much better shot. Shannon looking for a big out here. She's going to want to pin well to keep her team in this match. Solid nine for Scribner. Madison's another one of those girls who really grew up in the last couple years, huh? Remember Definitely her as a little did. kid? She's been at that Pilgrim Youth League since as long as I can remember. Oh, Dave! Pin in the gutter! Dave Godwin jumps into action. Oh, okay, oh. Action Dave, dolls sold separately. <laughs> we need a catchphrase for Dave. <laughs> Dave running down the pin. Oh, it's live. He work. fixes the bumper. <laughs> and he's off. Dave Godwin, everybody. Hey. <laughs> he's doing the jet, the airplane, <laughs> the plaxico burst. Scribner taking the lane. 23 pins she's going to have to chip into. 
<laughs> Taking a nap now, Dave says. Scribner with a pretty good ball. A lot of hook at the end. A lot of hook, but it is it's like a 10 pin ball in a way. Yeah. Madison with a tough first ball. Shannon would love to get this mark here and start chipping away. Robichaud's got a mark that he'll be filling at the start of the second half. Trying to play that hook a little bit too far. Yeah, she's going to find that release point so that it'll break in at the last minute and actually hit the pocket instead of crossing past the hat pin. She's still working on that. She found it once, and, and it was damaging when she found it that one time. Both of these two have very dangerous first balls. Shannon's favorite pro bowler is Mike Walker, another main bowler, right? Can't blame her. Yeah. And Maddie Kelly, Bart Medeiros. So we don't two see strong selections. Yeah, strong selections, not not two we usually see, but um, some good choices. I I gonna peek underneath my sheet and see if anybody picked me. Uh, I'm not um, seeing it. <laughs> yep, me neither. <laughs> yeah, nothing nothing unusual. We know it's a normal day. Shows our kids are intelligent, if nothing else. Scribner just wide at the head pin. Madison buries it. That ball can do some damage when it's in the pocket. She's looking at a nice spare leave. <laughs> Adam Seuss's favorite bowler is Amanda Louise Banks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice that that would behind the head pin. I thought it might do that. Madison's all over it. Aaron Seuss yeah. is practically drooling watching her right now. She's doing a fantastic job putting this match, not out of reach, but pretty darn close. Drooling. Oh, because of her bowling. Yes. I see. Yes, Stan. I thought, you know... He does. I don't know if he has a girlfriend, so... If yeah. I'd be shocked if he didn't. They could use some of their prize money to go out for dinner. If a kid has Sparks, a top hat. You never know. That's true. Scribner looking for a big last box here. A strong debut for Scribner. Ooh, there is a big ball. Oh, that was a fantastic ball. And you see what happens when her ball does hit the ball. It's devastating. <laughs> Tough to control, though, you know? That's the price you pay for the good action somewhere. Madison's going to... Have some fun with this spare leave. I think it'll go. Where do you think she'll play it, Got to be right on that red line, right? Maybe maybe even for lower. Scribner with a nice mm. mark to finish her Scribner cap. a new way to play that one. Ooh, a little higher than I think she would have liked. Yep. I think she'd be the, be the first to tell you. I don't think she was trying there. Strong debut from Scribner. 98 in the ball here. Nothing to be ashamed of at all. And Madison lefty picking up her toughest pin there, the seventh pin, for a, a solid 118 game. Great performance solid. by Maddie. Solid game. Four marks, nothing wrong with that. So Scribner looking to chip into a 31-pin lead, according to Mr. Boudreau. Of course, Jacob will have that mark, too. So two big fills here can knock it into a two-mark match. Oh, what a, what a big ball. Hook. Think about those two balls, Rob. That could have been the double. Triple nine have. drops. That definitely could have got him back in it. That ball. Well, she could have, like I said, those two balls could have been double strike for the ball. The folks at home might only see the tail end of that ball. It hooks probably from the furthest arrow on the left side of the lane. All the way into the head pin. It's like a 10 pin ball. It really is. If we could put oil only down the center <laughs> boards, she'd have a lot of spikes. Robichaud on a mark. A nice fill. Would like to drop a couple more. He'll have a spare leave, though. You know what? He dropped the one pin that was important because it rolled back and flattened out. Now he's got wood that actually looks good instead of like a roadblock. Of course, Aaron also looking at a very makeable spare leave. Jacob carries the extra pin. He'll take the mark. That's two in a row for Mr. Robichaud. Aaron, I don't know if I would have played it there, Dan. No, if I remember right, Rob, <laughs> we think we had this matchup before. I told you in the morning. It, it was a match that made me <laughs> laugh because I didn't notice it live, and I went back and watched it, and it was a last <laughs> box, and I saw Aaron <laughs> doing like one of those touchdown dances. <laughs> I don't know if it was a tribute or a mock. That's a strike for Mr. Robus, though. <laughs> He's uh, a strike. I think you're gonna extremely see excited, to say the least. Aaron a little wide, but a very makeable spare leave. Of course, Aaron just has to stay pat here. Madison handed him a good-sized lead. Robich is doing a good job chipping into it. A nice mark from Aaron. Cool as a cucumber, Dan. That is impressive, Rob, because not only did you have the strike thrown at you, but you've got you know the animation, which I don't hold against anybody, but if you're the poor guy bowling, it's... You know, I mean, you tell, your blood pressure goes up a little. It's when you easy to you want you want to beat the guy <laughs> in anything. I mean, no, it could work either way. Some people get better when they're feeling that way. Some get some it gets to your head. But Aaron's showing that uh, it's not gonna let it get. He's through. got some good mental toughness. Robisho looking for his fourth yeah, mark you know in a row. That was one of the only balls I've seen Jacob throw that actually tailed a little bit left. He yeah. Usually goes perfectly straight. It was heading for the pocket. Sousa Jr. looking for his third yeah. mark in a row. 
great display of bowling from our two teams right now. It's going to be a very nice high scoring match, especially for this middle age group. And you know what? That deficit has been cut down. Three marks in a row will do that. And Jacob no longer 30 well. pins. 13 the difference. Certainly not. Yeah, we went from out of 31 this world. down to 13. I mean, those marks that up. And really shows you how important those marks were by Aaron. 31 pin deficit. It's easy to just try to take a conservative approach and pin, but not Susan Jr. going for a hammer. Boy. There's some good bowling in this match. Told you. I mean, all the bowlers. If 107s are a low game, that's pretty impressive. They, they, you know, they're not just bowling to win. They're bowling for seeding now, too. Absolutely true. Number one seed is definitely a little advantage over the two or three who have to bowl each other first. Yep. Winner of this match gets an automatic berth into our Tournament of Champions. Sousa Jr. with the spare. And that prize money for the Tournament of Champions is already higher this year than it has been in the past. And it's not locked in place. I plan on increasing it with some of this prize money we're raising. So they have a chance to win, you know, more than they've won in the past. Sizable amounts. Great display of bowling from our two teams here. Sousa, 111 and a ball in the ninth. His team's going to be... 240 range? That is going to be a hard score to beat. Hard score to beat for the uh, 12 to 14 seeding. Seedings group. Yeah. Very strong performance here. We said they were veterans and they're showing why. It doesn't look like the TV lights are getting in their heads at all. Aaron's ball is good for this house too. I mean, some good, good drops. He's consistent right now. He's yep. really putting every single ball there. Robichaux, a little wide of the head pin. Nothing to be ashamed of from from him either. He's going to be well into the one. Almost the 120. Yeah. Ooh, tough hit. luck for yeah. Susan. Oh, it's a good hit. You're on the front pin in the triangle. You need a little splat break. Didn't get it. Robichaux goes wide to bring his team to a 235, 225, which is generally a score that could easily take this age group. Unfortunately, they went up against an enormous 246 for Madison Kelly and Aaron Souza Jr. What buzz saws, huh? 246, what a score. Great performance from our 12 to 14 year old age group. See him in the high low jack. Let's see if we send a little bit more money to him after these messages.